Hello, and welcome to LFA's Guide to Bulk Density. A small change in powders can make a dramatic change to your tablets, making it important to measure the characteristics of powders and granules during production. Also, bulk density should be checked from time to time as ingredients can change and be affected by things such as humidity. If left unchecked, the incorrect force may be applied which could lead to capping and lamination. Before doing this, ensure your tablet mix is ready with your active and excipients and will flow nicely through your press. This step is to work out the size of tooling that is needed to determine the tablet size and weight you're looking for. To perform this test, we will take a one litre cylinder. This can be done with smaller cylinders or jugs, but it won't be as accurate. Place the cylinder onto the scales. The more precise the scales, the better. Now tear the scales and fill the cylinder up to the one litre mark with your mix. Once it reaches the one litre mark, don't tamp the powder down, as we want to be using what is called our loose bulk density. As an example, if we shake our cylinder, you'll see the powder compact. This is known as your tamped bulk density, which we're not interested in. Next, record the weight of the one liter of powder. To calculate the loose bulk density, take the weight of the full cylinder, in our example, is 597 grams. Now divide it by the 1000 milliliters in the cylinder, which gives us 0.597 grams per milliliter or centimeter cubed. This can be used to calculate the weight of a tablet depending on the size of the die. As an additional example, this is 597 grams of a different product. As you can see, it shows the major differences between products. This powder will be able to make a tablet twice as heavy with the same amount of powder as compared to the last one. Now we're gonna calculate the maximum weight we can fit into our current die. In this example, our die is 12 mm fill depth, but it's best practice to convert to centimeters, so in this case, 1.2 centimeters. Our die is a standard circle shape with a 10 mm or 1 cm die bore diameter. From this, we need to calculate the total volume of our die bore and find out the cubic centimeters inside. The maths to measure this is pi r, or radius, cubed times height. Radius is half the die bore diameter, but there's a much easier way to do this. Google has a great tool to do this for you, which we'll link below. So now we can use the Google tool to find out the volume of our die bore. So 0.5 is our radius, 1.2 centimeters is our height, which gives us 0.94 centimeters cubed. 0.94 centimeters is our maximum space inside our die. Now we take our bulk density from earlier and times it by our maximum die space. Bulk density is 0.597, which is 597 milligrams per centimeters cubed. The die space is 0.94, so 597 times 0.94 equals 561.18 milligrams. So 561.18 is our maximum for a die with a fill depth of 12 millimeters and a 10 millimeter die bore. However, at LFA, we'd recommend giving some extra space so we'd say 510 milligrams would be the maximum before you consider a bigger die. We're constantly developing our video section, so if you feel you need help with an issue, get in contact at www.lfatabletpresses.com.